Hi, Lathe from Wineberry Hill. I think we've all had uninvited plants pop up in our garden and we wonder, what is this plant good for? Well, today we're gonna to be talking about one of those so-called weeds. It has food value, medicinal value, but far above any of those benefits is its ability to help other plants. Today we're talking about American burnweed. Let's start with the basics. American burnweed, also known as fireweed or pilewort, can grow pretty fast, and it can get up to 10 feet tall. It has large lance-shaped green leaves that have serrated edges. It has small cylindrical white or greenish flowers that form clusters at the top of the plant, eventually turning into fluffy seed heads similar to dandelions. Burnweed usually shows up towards the end of the summer or early fall, and they have a unique thing. They love disturbed ground. It's actually where they get their name from. Burnweed is a plant that usually shows up after forest fires, or if there has been forestry work done and land has been cleared. They really love disturbed ground. American burnweed is what we call an early succession plant. Essentially, it is the plant version of a first responder. If soil has been disturbed or traumatized in some way, American burnweed shows up to stabilize the soil, to help prevent erosion. But there's more to the story than just that. Studies have demonstrated that this plant has an inordinate ability to sequester nitrogen dioxide essentially smog, air pollution. And then what it does is significant. In turn, it takes that nitrogen dioxide and through the process of decomposition, converts it into nitrogen. Thereby, the next series of plants that come in, ones with more permanent intentions, already have nitrogen in the soil that they can use. Here's some burnweed mixed in with uh, Queen Anne's lace. And while it won't win any beauty contests, it turns out that burnweed is a significant source of nectar late in the season for pollinators like bees and butterflies. On top of all of this, burnweed is edible. And it's, no, it's not exactly like spinach or kale. Uh, and a lot of literature refers to it as a famine food because it does have an unusual taste, not bad, but unusual. And the smaller, younger leaves are better. The bigger they are, uh, the tougher and more strong that unusual flavor is. But it is something that people can eat. You can also feed it to your livestock, like rabbits and chickens and things like that. So it's good to know that you can eat it. Another reason to give this plant a second look is that it has medicinal value. And traditionally, it has been used in treating skin conditions as well as digestive issues because it has anti-inflammatory and astringent properties. I told you they get tall. They actually can get a lot taller than this. But if it turns out that you don't need the services of American burnweed, it's not a huge deal. Because for such a tall plant, they have very shallow roots. And this makes it very easy to pull them. Just like that. But if you do end up pulling American burnweed, don't waste all of that nitrogen that this plant worked so hard to save up for future plants that come along. And so if you do, be sure to compost them, making it possible for future generations of plants to benefit from all that hard work. And it helps the soil to not... It has anti-inflammatory and antiseptic? Astringent, that was the word I was looking for. While it won't win any beauty contests, whoa, slipping. Okay, so that's kind of a general overall summary of the benefits of American burnweed. Do you have it growing on your property? Have you ever used it for anything? I'd love to know. Well, that's it for this video, and if you liked it, you might like these.